Let's finish this off, guys. What we're going to want to do is continue on with what we ended up um, leaving off with, with the uh, removing of the bullets if they go off screen or collide with the player. And as you notice, um, when we were running it in the last, uh, at the end of the last video, if you were to shoot a bullet, it wasn't actually moving across the screen. And that's what we're going to go ahead and do right now. So we're going to need to do something really quick first and add a final int um, delta x uh, do this dot delta x equals delta x and I'm not sure if you already have this but private int delta x um, I'm pretty sure we added that in an earlier video if not go ahead and add it right now uh, so yeah just do that come back into shooting you notice you have some errors so um, so basically this is going to be the way that you're shooting the bullet and if you think about player one shooting the bullet it's going to go right so we're going to have one and if you think about player two shooting the bullet it's going to go um, left so it's going to be negative one and if you look at what we're gonna do, we're gonna do, um, or, uh, sorry, expose plus equals delta x. And what that's gonna do is take the x position and, uh, add the delta x to it each update. And if you just think about that, um, if you're gonna add a negative, it's gonna go left, right? And if you're gonna add a positive, it's gonna go right. So, that's all set um, but one thing we do want to do is while we move the um, the bullet we're actually gonna also want to move the uh, rectangle for the collision as well because that won't be uh, checking for collision if it's still over on the right side of the screen it's still over on the left side of the screen it's not actually moving so do uh, rec dot x and the same thing plus equals delta x and if you remember, we just added the rectangle in the last video, and we didn't actually do it with the key movement. So in player, in the update, when you do this, you're going to want to do uh, rec dot y minus minus uh, rec dot y plus plus. Um, you're just doing the same thing, but to the rectangle as well, because you want to move that as well, like the same thing with the bullet. Uh, it won't be calculated correctly if it's still um, still at the middle of the screen while you players at the top so go ahead and add it here and here alright so now that we have that we gotta do one more thing and if you think about it we only wanted to draw the bullets if um, the player health is greater than uh, um, t t t zero, yeah. So do player one dot get health is greater than zero. Then use and and, which is um, it's gonna be like the or that I taught you in the last video, but it's just gonna do. Um, check this, and it's going to check if player 2 health is greater than 0 as well. Oh, I mean 0. So, we'll end this. Um, we're always going to want to be uh, drawing the players. Uh, I mean, you could change that. You could put it in here if you only want to draw um, some text like player 1 is 1 or whatever. But I'm always going to want to be able to draw the players even if uh, I'm not drawing bullets. So else if player one dot get health equals equals zero. And what this is going to do, if the player one's health um, is zero, then player two is obviously one because it's killed player one. So g dot draw string. Um, so the first thing is going to be the string, and you're going to want player 2 has 1, and 
Um, I forget what's what's a good number. I'll go ahead and reference my other. Uh, 250 and 190 is good for me. Um, that's basically the middle of the screen, or the middle of the program. Sorry. And save time. Copy this. Player two. Dot get health equals equals zero. That means player one is one. So go ahead and change that, like so. And now if you were to do that, it'd be black because by default the color is black. So we're gonna want to go ahead and g dot set color color dot red for both of these um so that should be good just gotta run this and if we were to shoot a bullet you see that it moves across the screen we can't hold down so only when you release the button will it shoot and you can do the same over here so let me shoot at least 10 bullets uh, player one and we'll see if it pops up with uh, player one is one. Uh, actually it won't because another thing I forgot to do is when um, it intersects for the intersects one not if it goes off screen because you don't want to sub subtract the health so you want to do player one dot um, or uh, not player one um, player set health to player dot get health minus one. So what this is gonna do is set the health of the player that you're hitting to the current health minus one. And how it should work. And like I said, I do encourage you guys to modify this in any way you want. So um, I don't know, you could draw like player one's health up here, player two health up here, and then actually see it when it uh when you hit a bullet, it will automatically subtract if you're drawing the health. See? It hit 10 bullets here, and player 1 is 1. So, that's the conclusion of this video series. I uh, hope you liked it. hope you learned something. Uh, be sure to check back for my next video series. And, I'm not sure what it's on yet, so if you have any suggestions, go ahead and do that. Um, I also need a website name for... Uh, that program thing that I talked about in my update video. If you haven't seen that, go ahead and watch that. And that's basically it. So I hope you learned something, guys. This is Brian. Peace out.